What is going on guys? It is based here and um, today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to install LSPFR police mod. Um, it takes a few things. I haven't done a video um, on this in a while. I did some on my old channel. I can link those but it's a pretty simple straightforward process so let's just get started. I'll link everything you need in the description. So first you're going to need uh, to make a folder on your desktop called uh, plugins. Then go ahead and download LSPDFR, Rage Hook plugin, Script Hook V, and then uh, Open IV. So once you have these two, two <laughs> these four things actually, um, what you're going to do, you're going to want to just extract the LSPDFR files into a folder. Go ahead and copy those, paste them into your GTA folder. And make sure you guys have a copy of this before. You don't have to, but it just makes it easier. And if you're like, hey, why did you tell me that after? You can always press Control C, so don't worry about it. Next, so uh, we're going to install Rage Hook because this Rage Hook that it comes with is out of date. Um, you can see the version up there and compare it to wherever it is in here. Um, so let's go ahead and you can copy everything and drag it over. I just keep these open because I delete the raw files after. Go ahead and replace it. And we're going to go ahead and take script hook, bin, and then these are your trainers. So go ahead and drop the trainer in there. We got the files, plugins. Go ahead and go into the plugins folder and create a LSPDFR folder. And then go ahead and uh, launch Rage Hook plugin as a, not as administrator, just go ahead and launch it. You'll see this pops up. Um, this gives you a little warning and whatnot. Gives you time to read it. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna make a backup in case you need to revert the game. As you can see, do you wanna make the game backup now? I would always say yes. Cause the game updates a lot and if you're not always on top of it, um, it's a pretty good tool for you. And you can see it's, uh, it's going pretty fast and uh, I don't have the fastest hard drive or anything. There we go. Shouldn't take too long here. There we go. Install script. Perfect. You can see it's adding things. So let's go ahead if it doesn't open i was going to say launch one more time but it's fine so this is going to be your key that you're going to use to open the trainer in or your mod menu um these you can i mean i like giving credit if you ever make videos that show um the developers of this and then you can either load all plugins which i like to do just so you see it all loaded in on the screen and see if it's working or not the rest of this you can play with if you're having issues but um for the most part, you don't really need any of this. So go just go ahead and load these plugins. Save and launch. So it says, uh, can be shown, then immediately hold shift. If you need that uh, window again. So like when this screen pops up, hold shift. Or you can click the gear. So it has to pop open Steam for a second, update it. Because I haven't been on the game in a, in a little bit. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long either. There we go. So let's see if it is working. So you can see in the bottom right, it says Rage Hook. So that's a good sign. Then it's gonna give us a screen when it starts to load. And this is what you would know if it's uh, working or not right after this. So boom, there you go. You can see the screen when this loads up, everything's working properly. And then eventually it's gonna load in the LSPDFR on the bottom. 
and then I'll just let it load through all the way just to show you in game that it is fully functional. Here we go. Loaded LSPD, first response. So that's what we're looking for here. So let's get in the game, just make sure everything works, it doesn't crash. And you see which version I'm in in the bottom right corner. Um, and just to show you guys how uh, easy it was. There we go. Uh, it's making me do the, uh, sorry, because I'm on the wrong way. Uh, but as you can see on the top everything works when you press f4 and you could uh you could do like the loading plugins or you could uh, spawn whatever you'd like so but i have to be out there so i can't do that but uh, as you can see it's all working you know, have to switch accounts, but if you guys have any questions about it just leave some questions in the comments and i'll make sure to answer it when i can and uh thank you guys for watching see you next time